Howdy, 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 my darling Aries. How you doing, honey? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading Aries for June 2022. All right, darling. So, ooh, girl, not me dropping these tarot cards. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, darling. It's completely for free. So why wouldn't you? All right. Um, be sure as well, Aries, to check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign, because that's how you get the full understanding of what's going on in your life when it comes to consuming general tarot readings on YouTube, darling. You can't go by more than uh, you cannot go only by your sun sign, honey. All right. Uh, you have to really get that involved. So sun, moon, rising and Venus. All right. Uh, so let's just get right into here. All right, Aries, let's see what the tea is for you, darling. What's going on with you guys? What's been happening, honey? All right. What's been happening? <laughs> all right so right off the bat we got coming in here aries we got the tower card the devil as well as the hermit energy coming in here for you all right now full disclosure here aries we have the tower card as well as the uh devil card coming in in the reverse darling all right but you guys get the point i never like to just like hold the cards up in the reverse because darling it doesn't you know you're gonna see the artwork of the cards honey okay we got to see the artwork that's more important so and then in the back of the deck for you aries here we have the five of pentacles coming in here all right so this is giving me very much so aries like this is like the message of, of uh don't text them back darling this is the message of where it's just like don't go looking back aries all right i get this sense for you darling where right now for you guys you're feeling a little bit sentimental you're asking yourself did you make the wrong choice with this situation here that you chose to move on from it's like you guys had to aries walk away from a project you had to walk away from a person all right this devil really can encapsulate anything here all right walking back uh walked away from a bad habit a lifestyle that you were living prior aries all right and i feel as if right now for you guys you guys have been in this place of deep thought reflection soul uh finding yourself really here doing some soul searching here all right but it's like during during this time that you've been searching right and just personally developing you guys i get the sense for you aries it's like some of y'all like looking behind your shoulder and you're like you know did i make the wrong choice of that decision there all right was this you know uh was this the right choice to be making all right aries and the reason that i am clo uh, clocking y'all on this right now aries is because this five of pentacles this is why i say don't be re-engaging with this energy again aries all right because this left you like there's a reason as to why you left it beforehand right so you ask yourself this if you left this person this loved one that you might have cared about right uh in the past you had to leave them in the past because whatever the case was it was having you feel a little bit personally insecure about yourself right you always felt disincluded by them is that the word for it you never felt included all right you always felt like the odd one out like the third wheel in situations you always felt as if like the words that they were expressing to you aries wasn't like the reality i get the sense that it was just like really messing with your head it was you know like you started in a way like gaslighting yourself, you know, uh, Aries. And so whatever the case is, Aries, you walked away from that social situation because it just wasn't good for you. All right. Some of you guys, it's a lifestyle, right? Some of you, Aries, you're catching yourself getting back into those bad habits. You know, maybe some of you guys are getting into those eating habit, bad eating habits again, Aries, perhaps. Or maybe you haven't been um, getting, waking up every single day and getting like your daily to-do list, chore list done every single day, right? Like brushing your teeth, clean, uh, um cleaning your clothes honey like you know just like your daily chores like you might have started slacking on them again all right aries so this is kind of like a direct call out for you darlings just like keep on looking forward remember the purpose of what it is that you're trying to accomplish aries all right you don't want to get back into these old habits again you walked away from them in the first place for a reason if it was meant to be in your life darling you would be in your life right now it's not meant for you to go back and look at the rubble darling what it is that you abandoned all right so let's take a look at what it is that you guys are currently in the process of creating right now, Aries. Let's see what the T is there. All right. We're going to start it right here. <clears throat> All right, Aries. So we have here the six of pentacles as well as the seven and five of swords coming in here all in the reverse for you darling all right so what i see you guys uh actually getting into now aries i want to be saying that the reason why you're feeling so sentimental right now is because you're having to pull out a lot all right you reflect i see a lot of you aries waking up to realizing like how many situations in your life have been it's like there's so many things that you had invested your time and energy into aries 
and it's only now that you're starting to wake up and realize the fruitless uh projects that you've picked up on right it's like you're waking up and realizing being uh you're carrying all this baggage all these uh people who are not there to support you maybe your environment you've been noticing hasn't been very productive for you you're just noticing all the kinks uh that's in your space right now honey sorry about that aries i just randomly had my camera cut off for a moment so i get this sense for some of you aries you're feeling bad about certain projects that you finally had to just give up on all right you it's really you starting you it's like this sense of where for a while now you had like this sense of pride aries with like keeping up with the joneses only the joneses were like in your head uh aries where you're just like oh i gotta like prove it to myself that i can take on all these projects and do everything right you know it's like and for you know it's instead of like mastering a, a couple things aries you wanted to be the jackie of trades where you like you could do everything you could choreograph sing, like you just everything honey all right and so i feel like for some of you aries you need to give yourself a little bit more grace darling in regards to what it is that you've had to walk away from whether this was projects that were just taking up too much of your time and you were not getting the fruit from it right it's the sense for you where y'all Aries are waking up to realizing like what it is that you need to let go of so you can be in your most empowered state so you can actually uh, accomplish the things that you're wanting to accomplish in your life Aries. This is not just because you're letting go of certain things right now it doesn't mean that you're giving up or anything like that. It's just like you need to you need to allocate your energy into like specific goals right now Aries. All right. So that's what I get for you guys. That's the reason why you might be noticing that you're looking back a little bit because you're just like man am i like really letting go of all this right now honey right and is you might be having some second thoughts where you're just like man is this really like the correct thing and that absolutely is for you Aries. it just feels like you guys are providing yourself this clean slate that was necessary for you so you could just get more focused on your path focus on what it is that you need to execute all right i just get this sense for some of you Aries. you need to just focus in on like a couple different things and try to excel at that rather than trying to just prove it to yourself that you can have your hands dipped into a bunch of different pots just because you just for the sake of it all right i don't know how that's going to be relevant for you guys aries but someone just needed to hear it honey okay so aries good news coming in here we have the magician energy the ace of cups and then we have the five of pentacles as i said already aries i don't hold the cards and they're inverted just because honey but i wanted to prove it to you this five of pentacles in the reverse for you so what you have coming here it's like the it's like you tr finally now aries like cutting away at the fat you finally now trimming away at the everything so all the loose ends all the flaws um all the split ends in your hair darling aries it's like you're finally going to be rewarded for that in the future here because you're finally taking matters into your own hands aries all right when you think about that magician energy aries if the magician is someone who takes control of the reality that they see in this world right they use all the tricks and the uh tools in their toolbox aries to accomplish the things to bring forth the opportunities this ace of cups coming in here new opportunity and new love for some of you guys and the five of pentacles this is all in the name of like what you accomplished from doing this aries is we you feel your most empowered that you ever have felt all right you manifest the love life you manifest the social life that you've wanted for yourself Aries, honey, I don't know what it is with these technical problems. You might be being able to relate to it on some level as well, as well, like Aries, where it's just like everything that you do, like you might be always having some type of problem that just complicates things. You might have been finding yourself asking, it's just like if like to have things normal, honey, or maybe it's just me and I'm just projecting onto you, Aries, but this is the most technical issues that I've had for a reading and a hot biscuit, honey. All right. And I'm like losing it. <laughs> Anyways, Aries, I don't even remember where I was last off when it comes Comes to this reading here but essentially you get rewarded for uh the, the efforts that you do now i feel like for many of you guys the, because of the projects that you finally just had to let go of aries um to do away with that the sense of proving to yourself that you could do be like a master of everything and just focus in on a couple different uh goals or just one direct thing aries for you you get i see the sense of newfound confidence that you develop aries i get the sense for you where you start really excelling where you start um being looked uh celebrated and praised for your craft and whatever it is that uh that you're accomplishing here it's like for you aries it's like you want to write a book and then you want to make a website and then you want to open a store and then you want to do 
you all the social medias honey right and all that sounds good on paper but speaking from experience areas right you just want to commit yourself to a few things all right you're, you're never gonna run out of creative ideas as long as you have the passion darling areas you're going to always find new ideas and all that but you want to master just a couple different things you want to just put your focus in on just one specific thing and then when you have things pick that launch up off the ground darling then go to another thing all right that's how you're going to get the most growth and that's where i see a lot of success for you guys areas where you feel extremely accomplished is when you're able to just allocate all of your energy into those specific projects all right Aerie? aries so let's get into your oracle cards for this week all right for your animal card we have the humpback whale coming in here music is essential to your healing aries and your well-being whether singing playing an instrument or just listening darling all right your spiritual team might be communicating to you through song this week all right aries so be paying attention to that it's not going to be i would suggest for some of you aries if you're just looking for some affirmation that you're not alone in this world and you just want some spiritual insight in that way all right um be asking just start shuffling Go, start turning on the radio when's the last time you just put your music on shuffle or just looked on a, like our spotify radio or something like that apple music honey you know whatever personal issue reaches a resolution full moon in cancer for you all right aries some of you guys might be finding yourself where maybe there's like a misunderstanding when it comes to a certain person in your life aries um or it's just like so just like a real big stinker that you weren't able to get clarity on immediately. I feel like this has been something that has just like been a gradual thing for you, Aries, of having that closure with. And so that's definitely coming, darling. All right, Aries. So that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, honey. With all these technical problems, we still made it to the end, honey. Okay. Um, but I love you so much, darling. Hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you in this reading here today, Aries. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. Check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Aries. And then remember, darling. All right, if you want to book a private reading with me, I only do my readings through my website, Aries Simply Velka dot com darling all right um and then that's linked to down below next to my social medias tiktok and instagram honey same as you're simply velcro darling that if you want to uh connect with me more on an intimate level darling all right i love you so much aries and y'all take care of yourself